Good evening, everyone. This is E, and you're watching ENS Evening News. Presidential elections are coming up, and candidates are pushing until the last minute. Obama is currently outspending McCain 3 to 1 for ads in October alone. McCain has spent $261,000, while Obama has spent $48.5 million. I know what you're thinking. Boy, that's a lot of money. Should he be allowed to spend that much money? This is the question that was asked over 30 years ago when Buckley v. Vallejo went to Supreme Court. We now go to a flashback with S to discuss the court case of 1976. S? Thank you, E. As you mentioned, Buckley v. Vallejo was a case that was brought to the Supreme Court in 1976. Senator James Buckley argued against the Federal Election Campaign Act, or FECA. This act put limits on the spending of presidential campaigns. But many, including Buckley, thought that that was unconstitutional, so it was brought to Supreme Court. A decision was made to not have spending limits on congressional campaigns, and presidential campaigns only have a spending limit if they accept public funds. Later on, changes were made to the law. Independent expenditures were required to be made by special interests in support of candidates' campaigns. This limited political parties' spendings during the election. It also allowed the political parties to receive unlimited amounts of money that was to be spent in party-building activities. These changes, as well as decisions by the Federal Election Commission, led to the creation of a loophole called soft money. There are two types of funds available for campaigns and political parties. They are called hard money and soft money. Let me illustrate it for you. Soft money was a loophole created to get by the spending limits of campaigns and parties. Now let's say that this is the loophole. It was made to channel hundreds of thousands of dollars from political parties to their candidates' campaigns. Money can be raised in unlimited amounts and can come from corporations. Now, hard money is raised by candidates according to strict federal rules. There are limits on the amount that can be contributed by individuals or groups during any election, and it cannot come from corporations. But all money raised can be spent on any campaign activity. And that's all for me. Back to you, E. Well, that concludes our show for the evening. Thank you all for watching. This is E for ENS News, and good night.